Welcome everyone to my next live food demo where I'm going to be demonstrating a brand new recipe in development that's going to be an exclusive recipe from my upcoming book club based on my book, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss. And this is a roasted garlic Alfredo pasta. So hey everybody, I'm Chef AJ and if you are watching this live today, I have a free webinar with Dr. Gustavo Trelosa at 5 p.m. Pacific time. We're going to show you how we shop in Los Angeles, 10 stores from Walmart to the 99 cent store to Whole Foods to Trader Joe's to Costco. Absolutely free, but you do need to sign up. You also need to sign up if you want the free replay and the link is right on this page. So I'm going to make what I think is going to be a delicious recipe because usually what I do is I think about it a long time and a lot of times they get it right. So what we're going to do is start with a nice hot pan. You guys ask me all the time. My pan is a Pampered Chef. I think it's called the nonstick skillet or wok or saute pan. I don't think they make it anymore, unfortunately, but I saw one brand new, $95 eBay, great, pro great price. Pan has been preheated. You know it's ready. If the water, little balls of water, kind of just go like that, then it's ready. All right. So I know I told you last week that everything starts with an onion, but I'm not using an onion today. Today I'm using a shallot. And what a shallot is, is a cross between an onion and a garlic. So imagine that onion and garlic went on a date and had unprotected sex. If they had a baby, it would be a shallot. It's just a slightly different flavor. And since what I'm trying to simulate is fettuccine alfredo, I want the flavor, but I don't want it to just be about a big hunk of onion. So that's why we're doing this. And of course, we're always going to add fresh garlic. But remember, garlic does burn, so you only want to saute it a little bit later. So again, you can always add your water. It's very easy to saute without oil. You can use water, non-stick, excuse me, not non-stick, non-sodium vegetable broth. Let me get that big piece of skin out of there. So this was two shallots. It weighed about two ounces after I peeled it. So I'm not going to need to let this go as long as I do when I'm sauteing onion because it's not necessary. I'm not trying to caramelize it. I'm just trying to cook it. Oh, it smells great. So there we go, and that is basically done. This is what I love about using high heat in a nonstick pan. If you're not comfortable, then just get a good quality piece of waterless cookware or a stainless steel pan or a green pan or a scan pan. So now I'm going to add my chopped garlic. Now, in the sauce, in the Alfredo sauce, which is free of nuts, and nuts are great, they're very creamy, but they're very calorically dense, I use roasted garlic because roasted garlic has a much more mellow flavor. I do not like raw garlic. Uh, they don't really use raw onion or garlic at True North where I learn pretty much everything I know about health and nutrition. And but, so I'm sauteing it. And I use the machine that I've been showing you every time I do a live, which is the Power Chef Pro, the Tupperware. Really easy to do small jobs like onion and garlic. So. That's going to continue to cook. Oh, already smells delicious. And now, oh, flavor. Mmm. And if you just saute onion and garlic or shallot and garlic, everything you eat and make will be delicious. So now I'm going to add my mushrooms. I love this tool I got in Alaska, the Ulu. Chop them up. I'm going to add them to the pot. Oops, I've got a little bit of my stuff there. And I'm just going to put this over the top. Mushrooms have a lot of water. And so you're going to see, they're going to release a lot of water, so I really don't have to add water to that. Mm. I don't know if traditional uh, pasta Alfredo has mushrooms, but I, I don't follow recipes. I make them up and I eat and make what I like. So just to make this go faster, and just to be sure that nothing sticks, I am going to just add the rest of the water that I had here, just to be sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it now. I never bought the top to this pan, I probably should have, but I have another one where you can see this fits pretty good. So I'm going to cover this now and then I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the other aspects of the recipe. First of all, I hope you can get a nice picture of this shirt. It's such a beautiful quality, a soft shirt, beautiful color, beautiful sentiment. I want to thank my good friend Sharon McRae who's a health coach in Baltimore, Maryland, for sending it to me. She's always so kind sending me stuff. And if you have any struggles feeding yourself or your family healthy, 
She's my go-to health coach that I recommend, especially where kids and families are involved. And she puts on a wonderful immersion program every fall with Dr. Dana Simpler, a local plant-based physician, that I have the privilege of speaking at this year with Dr. Joel Furman and Dr. Neil Barnard and Brenda Davis. So check that out at eatwellstaywell.com. So we are going to be having pasta that is not pasta. So I love the veggie spirals. I don't know how to use my spiralizer. Maybe Pam will teach me. So in the meantime, I'm buying the frozen ones, which you can get at any store. Okay, not any store if you live in some island, but I mean like I got it at Kroger's, which is every town I've ever been at. I've seen this even in towns as small as a thousand. So these are great. They also often sell them in the produce section, section fresh, both the butternut squash, the sweet potato and the zucchini ones. Costco has them. Cheaper if you spiralize your own. So we're using this today. However, my husband doesn't really care for these. He's just not a fan of squash. Go figure, he's not a fan of sweet potatoes. So I cooked up some pasta for him. Remember, my husband has never been overweight. He's not a food addict. I don't recommend any pasta for people that are overweight or food addicted, but if you are gonna eat it and serve it to your family, I recommend one ingredient pasta. So I'm using a chickpea pasta, and all it says on the box is chickpeas. You never want to use one with flour. I recommend gluten-free. They have pasta that's made out of just red lentil, that's made out of just black bean, that's made out of just soybean. So that's what I recommend if you use pasta. And whenever you use pasta, have it be the smaller part of your meal, have lots and lots of veggies. So you can see, I probably shouldn't have added all that water because you see how quickly this mushrooms release their water. So now, because of my folly, I'm going to have to let the lid open and let this cook down or I'm going to have to drain it. So that was a big mistake on my part. I was just trying to uh, do things uh, right, which actually wasn't. So this will, this will take now another couple minutes, which is great because then I can answer your questions in the meantime. But you see how quickly these cook. So traditionally in pasta alfredo, they garnish it with fresh parsley. They get the green in it that way, which is great. I didn't have any, but I'm gonna use arugula instead because Pam and I are in the Ultimate Weight Loss Program. We're on a 30-day Eat Your Greens By Any Means Challenge. Today, I believe, is day five. And so uh, we're gonna put a lot of this in ours for sure. So my sauce, was made in the Vitamix. It's a roasted garlic cream sauce. Again, if you want this recipe, you need to get my book, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss, and sign up for my book club. That has not been announced yet. It's gonna be a 12-week course where every week we have a module. There's homework, there's interaction, there's live interaction with me. That's gonna take place I don't know the day, maybe Monday nights, but I'm doing it with Gustavo. We'll probably announce it tonight on the other webinar. And it's gonna go for 12 weeks to really get you guys through the holidays with, if not losing weight, at least not gaining weight. So uh, we're gonna have a book club and then we're gonna have another book club based on the pleasure trap and we're gonna keep doing these because people seem to really like them. So again, you see, I shouldn't have put the water in. I should have put that much. My fear is, is if I were to uh, drain this, I would drain out a lot of the flavors. So we'll just let put the top back on, let it go. So what I love about the Vitamix making this cream sauce is that it makes things hot. So my dream of tomato soup, for example, or any other recipe, if you let it run for about three minutes, it actually gets hot. So people that are raw foodists like this because it doesn't get it as hot as the temperature they're trying to avoid. But that's what's really, really, really cool. So. Let's get this water off. So the, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take about half of it because my husband wants his with pasta and then I'm gonna put it in this bowl for me and Pam and then I'm gonna put some of his in another bowl and because I wanna cook the pasta in the pot with the sauce. So it's almost dry. Did you guys have any questions about anything? I can answer them. There was a question about the knife again. They couldn't knife. quite make oh, out oh, yeah, what yeah, you... Sure. So um, what I love is, this was $20 at the airport in Alaska. It's called Ulu, U-L-U. I hate to tell you what they really use it for. It's a not vegan thing. But they're $20 at ulufactory.com or at the Alaska airport. And you can get them online. And it's a chopping tool. If you watch my video, what I eat for a day, I show you how to make the best chopped salad. Tammy Kramer on her blog, Nutmeg Notebook, also talks about this tool. Fabulous tool for quick jobs. Very sharp. Make sure you have this little thing that you keep it in. Uh, you can also get something called a mezzaloon, which sometimes they have at Bed Bath & Beyond and sometimes they don't. But you can see that this is cooking down. So it's good that I made a mistake so you learn from it. I shouldn't have added any water and certainly not the amount I added. So let's get this, because I really want these to be a little bit drier. 
The uh, Ulu knife can also be purchased on Amazon. Oh, great. Uh, mine was $20, and that's usually the price I see. So, oh, this is starting. This, this smells so good. How can you not love mushrooms? So, to be honest, I don't love mushrooms the way other people mm -hmm. do, but I know they're good for me, so I'll eat them. And when they're sautéed with onion or shallot and garlic, I don't mind it. So, uh, speaking of questions, the best way to ask, I do my best, guys, to go back and answer every question I see on these feeds on YouTube. I'm always behind. I don't really have anybody helping me, except for Pam, who's helping me now. But I get so many emails. So, the best way to get a question to me is through my website, which is eatunprocessed.com, because then you're getting it to Charles first, and he sees it, and then he'll send it to me. Whereas email is just going to get lost in the in the 1,200 or more that are in there now. I get about 200 a day. And when you comment on YouTube, I do my best to get to you, but it could take months because I probably get about 50 to 100 YouTube comments a day because I have so many YouTube videos now. So eatunprocess.com, best way to reach me, unless of course you're in the Ultimate Weight Loss Program where you know how to reach me quickly and easily on our private group page. So, again, I wish I could, it's, it's coming, it's, it's cooking off, isn't it, Pam? Yes, I'm sorry is. to make you guys wait. Karen asks, what mm -hmm. do you feed Bailey? I feed Bailey something called V-Dog, which is a vegan dog food. Linda Middlesworth, a very ethical vegan, owns the company. I feed her that along with a cooked carrots. She doesn't like them raw, organic, and cooked organic brown rice. And then the smallest amount of meat possible, like, like a tablespoon. I adopted her when she was four, and we could not get her to go full vegan. But she is mostly vegan, except for that one tablespoon that she gets in her food. She's only 14 pounds. She eats barely no food. It's incredible. Uh, this is her dish. So this is her dish. I made it with my friend Tim. It actually says Bailey. It maybe is half full twice a day. I would say she eats like a cup of food a day at the most. When we're eating dinner, if we're eating sweet potatoes or uh, regular potatoes, she loves those and so we'll give her those as snacks. So that's what she eats. And again, do as I say, not as I do. This had, that was crazy that I did that for mushrooms. Knowing, and I messed up my, my kitchen as well. So like I said, we really eat the stuff we make. So, uh, come on. All right, so. You know what they say, a watch pot never boils. So, oh, let me show you something about roasting garlic. And so uh, you guys ask me a lot, like, how often, how long do I cook things that are in the air fryer? I, I do every, I don't read books. I don't have time to read the manual. So I do everything at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. If it's not done, I add time. The main reason I recommend the air fryer is, uh, well, if you live in a hot climate like I do, where it's over 100 most days, I can't stand turning my oven on. It takes about 20 minutes to preheat, and it takes longer for things to cook in the air fryer. Well, roasted garlic is no exception. A lot of people think they have to use oil to roast garlic, and it, it comes out great in the oven, but then you're using your oven. So my friend, Dr. Daryl Woodruff, who's a star McDougler, you can look him up, gave me this amazing machine called the Roasted Garlic Express, and there's a, there's a thing that goes in it. I, I just, I'm washing it. You can, you can roast three whole, not bulbs, heads of garlic at the same time. So this is fantastic. And roasted garlic, it's just, in my opinion, so much less strong and more flavorful than, than fresh garlic. And uh, for people that sometimes have like an insensitivity or an intolerance to garlic, uh, roasting it mellows it out. So you might want to try that. The other thing is, is uh, Debbie Benson, who created the line of my favorite salt-free seasoning, Benson's Table Tasty, has a new flavor called roasted garlic that is, in my opinion, better than the original Table Tasty. It's just as salty, but it's got this depth of flavor, and uh, that would be great, too. Somebody gave me this really cool tool. It's you pull out the oven rack or the air fryer rack. So it's starting to make a lot of noise. So we're gonna call that done, perfect. So we're gonna take out half of it for my husband because we don't want to be greedy. And then me and Pam are going to have the other half in our presentation. So let's see, that's about one. It looks like about half, huh? Yeah, Maybe a little it does. bit more. He likes mushrooms. Uh, sauteed mushrooms, by the way, just make a great side dish. So now we're going to add our pasta, which is spiralized. Butternut, oh man, now it's even gonna be better. So we're gonna add that. Yum, yum, yum. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little because there's no reason to have it be high right now. 
Wow. Where you, what are you going to eat, Pam? This is mine. <laughs> All right. So how about some of this delicious Alfredo sauce? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Mm. Wow. No cream, no butter, no salt, no oil. And we are having Alfredo. So I don't want the uh, arugula to cook because just having it, I mean, oh my God, I remember when I was a kid, you, oh, the smell. You guys have no idea what you're missing. It smells delicious. Oh my God, it's so good. So we have extra sauce if we need it, but let's always add our greens to everything. That's what makes it so healthy and delicious. So. The arugula will wilt, any green will wilt very, very quickly. Ah, look at that. Do you want a little more greens in yours, Pam, or is this? You, you can want? add definitely add more. I love arugula. Okay, good. So I agree, more arugula. And this is going to be our lunch today. Roasted garlic Alfredo pasta. We use doodles, but I'm gonna make another one. Maybe I'll show them right now how I make it with the pasta for Charles. Hey, Charles. He just came home, so look at that. I could probably eat this whole pan myself, but then what would poor Pam eat? But we'll split this and look at that. Oh, I probably shouldn't have put greens on a green plate, but uh, that's okay. Oh, delicious. Oh my God, the mushrooms make it meaty. Oh, it Does that so look good. like about a good amount for you, oh, Pam? Yeah. All right, so let me plate one for myself. I'm gonna do it on a white plate because I think it will be a prettier presentation. And then I'm gonna show you how I, how I do it with pasta. I'm gonna turn my, sorry, my stove got so schmutzy. Okay, actually you're really only supposed to use non-stick on these pans to keep them there. Look how pretty it is with a. Okay, so let's put this back up. Let's get this a little bit more presentable. It's almost like a risotto, like it's so creamy. Mm. And, you know, I do everything. I do a little balsamic on top, so let's just get this as the one that we'll put over here. Okay, so now let's do it with some pasta. Let's put our mushrooms back in the pot. Hey, Charles. Is he home yet? I thought he was. I think he is. I Charles, I heard so him. let's get our mushrooms back in. Let's get our pasta in the pot. And by the way, I'm allowed to use my hands in food that I eat myself, guys, just so you know. I'm not working in the restaurant right now. So if I touch my dog and I eat it, I'm not breaking any laws. Especially because she's hypoallergenic. She's a hava noodle. Hey, Charles, lunch. Oh, look at that. That looks like a good ratio. Let's give him some of the sauce. Yeah, we have a little sauce left. Oh, man. So if you're doing it with pasta, look at that. Looks so, looks like real Alfredo, doesn't mm -hmm. it? It does. With absolutely zero added fat, oil, salt. I, I mean, I, I would say sugar, too, and people say, well, who puts sugar in pasta? Well, every processed food company. So look at that. And there we go. And you know what? I can hit it with a little bit of the faux poisson. That is beautiful. I do happen to have a little bit of the enlightened faux parmesan in the fridge. So there you go. For, you, can, you can feed everybody, make them happy. The ones that eat pasta, the ones that don't. You could probably do this over zoodles. Let's see if I can get a little faux par. Hey, Charles? Charles? You know, the funny thing is, is even if he was here, he never, he never comes when I call him. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have that problem with your husband either. So please make sure you sign up to be on my mailing list. We have a free webinar at 5 tonight. And don't forget about that live stream. I showed you how to make this. I think it was episode 76. So we'll just put a little faux parmesan on top. Uh, Pam, would you like a little on yes, yours please. too? We can always add more. And there we go. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Roasted Garlic Alfredo, two ways. Thanks so much for watching. Please sign up to, 
to be on my mailing list at eatunprocessed.com. Best place to ask questions. Follow me on YouTube as Chef AJ. And why not consider the live stream for Vegas? I'm Chef AJ, and I make healthy, taste delicious without sugar, oil, flour, alcohol, or salt. Bye now.